In this problem, we're told, what is the specific heat of a metal substance if 135 kilojoules of heat is needed to raise 5.1 kilograms of the metal from 18 degrees Celsius to 37.2 degrees Celsius? So in this problem, what we're trying to do is find the specific heat. And so the formula we're going to use is Q equals MC times delta T. So when they say uh, specific heat, they're talking about the specific heat constant, right, which is this, just this C value right here. And so we're going to try and solve for this C value in this formula. So first thing you want to do is just manipulate it. So I'm going to divide both sides by M times delta T, and that's going to give us our C by itself. And so when you do that, you're going to get C equals Q divided by M times delta T. So what we're going to want to do is just go ahead and solve this formula for C. And so let's write down our given now. And so they basically give us all the information in order to solve this. So they tell us the mass, which is the M value. They tell us our mass is going to be 5.1 kilograms. So M equals 5.1 kg. And then they tell us it's going to go from 18 degrees Celsius to 37.2 degrees Celsius. So our change in temperature, or delta T, we know is just going to be the final temperature minus the initial. And so the initial temperature is 18, final is 37.2. So you're just going to do 37.2 minus 18. And so I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Keep in mind it's in degrees Celsius. And when you plug it in, you make sure it's in degrees Celsius. And then now what we need is uh, Q, right? So the amount of joules. And so we know it's going to be equal to 135 kilojoules. But we need to make sure it's in joules when you solve this formula. You can't have it in kilojoules. So what you can do to convert it is just multiply by 1,000 because there's 1,000 uh, joules for every kilojoule. So multiplying by 1,000, you're just going to get 135,000. And that's going to be in joules. And so you can just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's just the same as 1.35 times 10 to the 5 joules. So this right here is going to be Q. And so notice now we have Q, we have the mass, and we have delta T. So we can uh, solve for uh, the specific heat capacity, or C. And so you're going to get C equals Q. And so Q is 1.35 times 10 to the 5. And so I'm not going to put the units on. You can do that if you want. And then divided by the mass, which is 5.1. And then it's going to be the change in temperature, which is 37.2 minus 18. And so this right here is going to be what we need to plug in our calculator. So go ahead and do this. So you're going to do 1.35 times 10 to the 5. And then divide by 5.1 times 37.2 minus 18. And so when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get C equals 1378.67. I'm just going to round to about 1379. And so keep in mind what the units for uh, C are. It's going to be joules per kilogram degree Celsius. So this is a specific, uh, specific heat constant, right? So this is going to be uh, your answer. You can round to 1400 if you'd like. Just make sure you do what your teacher wants you to do. But yeah. Essentially, this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.